The Massachusetts Attorney General is suing the owners of Indiana Beach for extorting homeowners at a manufactured home site near Cape Cod. News Channel 18's Ava Wilhite explains now what this lawsuit in Massachusetts could mean for the Monticello Amusement Park. Ava? An Indiana Beach spokesperson says that the lawsuit will in no way affect the park. The Indiana Attorney General's office says they also have no record of the state investigating or receiving complaints against the owners of Indiana Beach Morgan RV Resorts. Protesters at Indiana Beach are taking a hiatus. Last weekend, former Indiana Beach employees protested the park for what they said are unsafe conditions for customers. Mike Fodrell is a former employee of Indiana Beach. He says he and other protesters are halting any further demonstrations in good faith until they're meeting with park owner Bob Mosier of Morgan RV Resorts. We want to make sure that you know, the, the beach is still here. We just want to see these concerns addressed. That way it can stay here. Fodrell says even with recent news that Morgan RV Resorts is being sued by the Massachusetts Attorney General for extortion, they will keep their word and not protest. We don't know all the details, but from what I do know, this just shows another case of Morgan caring more about money than their actual customers. Fodrell says the lawsuit does not come as a shock to him or other former employees. Now he says they are concerned about what could happen to the park. We don't know all the financial situations, but a high profile case like that would have to have some impact on the money that goes into this type of place. Indiana Beach Chief Operating Officer Gary Quaysbarth talked to News Channel 18 by phone. He says the amusement park is a separate corporation from the RV parks and will not be affected. Roots protest efforts on Facebook have now reached 1,500 members. Fodrell did not give a specific day or time when park owner Bob Mosier will visit Monticello. Eva Wilhite, News Channel 18.